Hi guys, Andy here from Home Glow. I'm a plumber based in the Rotherham area of South Yorkshire. Uh, you may have seen my last video which was to how to make the perfect compression fitting. Uh, another fitting we are going to be showing you today is how to use a push fit fitting. Uh, a good fitting to use for all the keen DIYs out there, no complicated tools required. It is good for, as we are at the minute, if we are stuck indoors like I am at the moment, hence the reason why I'm doing these videos, because of the coronavirus outbreak unfortunately. Um, so if you have got any DIY jobs that require uh, a push fit fitting, this is the video to watch. So I'll be showing you how to do that. Tools I'll be using today is uh, a pipe slice. I'll show you how to use the fitting on a, um, a copper pipe as well as plastic pipe. So for the plastic pipe, I will be using um, some proper plastic pipe cutters. Again, I will show you in the next uh, clip um, where I get these tools from and everything else. Hacksaws for plastic for, to use with push fit fittings. I would never, I've never used one. Um, if, 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 if it's a case that you can only use an hacksaw uh, in this situation to cut the pipe, I won't be using a push fit fitting. Uh, it's as simple as that. So it's either a pipe slice on copper pipe or a ha uh, sorry, some proper um, plastic pipe cutters. So we'll go through that now in the next clip. So bear with me and we'll do it. Hi guys. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, a push fit fitting um, onto copper pipe and some plastic pipe. The beauty about uh, a push fit fitting is this is definitely something that's good to be used for uh, the novice plumber um, as there's not many tools required to do the job. In fact, I've put a, um, a spanner and uh, a pair of grips here. You shouldn't be needing those to do a push fit fitting. Um, so that is brilliant. So it, it is a really good fitting to use. The problem is with a um, push fit fitting is that it is bulky, very bulky. Um, so we can see just how bulky it is on that copper pipe. So sometimes um, it does have its limitations with space. For example, if you're using it under a floorboard and the, and the pipe's close to the, to the top part of the, the joist, Sometimes you can't use um, a push fit fitting because it's so bulky, so you might need to use a compression or a soldered joint. So how does a push fit fitting work? Well, the, the concept of it is relatively easy. Um, it has an outward collar like so, and inside that uh, collar, you can see through there, it does have some steel teeth. So basically that's how the fitting doesn't uh, fly off the pipe once it's fitted, those teeth bite into the outward side of the, either the copper or the plastic pipe. Um, you get the recess inside the actual plastic fitting, an olive which would sit on the outward side of the of the pipe you're using, that's what makes the, um, the watertight seal. You get a plastic collar which that goes over the uh, um, the uh, washer sorry the rubber uh, rubber o-ring and that's just to strengthen the o-ring once it's pushed in so it doesn't flop about when you're pushing pipe in and then that's it the fitting i'm using today is a john guest fitting to me it's my favorite one uh, there is a lot out there which i don't really use i always stick to this simply because it has a collar on there so if you do make a mistake when you've fitted it you can always um hold on to that collar which i'll show you and release the copper pipe again because there is some plastic fittings that once you've pushed the pipe in and um, that's it the fittings made it's very difficult to get the fitting back off again it is 15 mil we're going to be using it on copper pipe so we'll get rid of these spanner and grips so tool check for today is some pipe slices for plastic per pipe to cut the pipe pipe slice uh, for copper pipe, perfect for uh, cutting a pipe that's going to be used for a plastic fitting. Makes a nice neat cut. And as a last, last resort, um, and that junior axe And I would be honest with you, I've never ever cut a pipe to use a plastic fitting for with an axe because I just think 
potentially it's it's not going to make a good seal at all because I don't care how good you are at cutting a piece of pipe it's never truly square whereas the pipe slice makes it nice and square and the burrs you get from it so that as a last resort uh, a pencil I'm using today or you can use a pen whatever you want to use to mark the pipe where you want to fit the fitting this is a, a compression straight uh, push fit straight crack it up um, so we'll work from the centre of the valve, but as you can see, you've got these little grooves here, a groove inside of that. So as, as a compression fitting or a soldered fitting, generally you would push the pipe near enough up to the centre. On, on this push fit fitting, it only will push up to about that point there, so just bear that in mind. So if you are limited for space, um, obviously you've got to think it, take in account of that. For this demonstration, we're just going to mark the centre of that pipe. Then you would cut that pipe with the pipe slice. Um, I've done an earlier video with a compression fitting um, to cut the pipe. So you would go on that line there to cut it. But to be fair, I'm not going to keep wasting copper. So what we'll do... This is uh, one that I cut earlier. So, we're assuming now we've cut the pipe with the pipe slice and then you, you get a nice neat cut like that. So again, uh, as I referred to in the part one video of the compression fitting, you're going to have to move the pipes to the side to be able to get this fitting in. Generally, if you get a nice fresh bag of fittings, um, they will put a bit of grease on the, um, of the rubber o-ring inside. So when you push this over the pipe, um, it would... Um, shove on quite easy onto 15mm. I've never really had a problem um, getting the, the pipe to, to push over a co uh, copper pipe, the fitting to push over a copper pipe. So again, it is quite a bulky item, um, so you'd have to move the pipes to the side, push it on. You will feel the pipe push all the way in until it comes to an abrupt stop, uh, abrupt stop, sorry. Um, so that's how you know the pipe's on properly. So you do the other side as well, do the same, so they won't go no more. And then you get the spinny colours here. So once you've fitted the pipe, uh, the fitting, and you're happy that you, you've got the pipes in fully, just twist it to where it won't twist anymore. So you want to twist it down. This Obviously that one twists that way, this one will twist this way. And then you, that's it. That's how easy it is to make a push fit fitting. The beauty about these fittings is John Guest ones, we can demount them. So you'd loosen the the collar again. This is where it makes me look a bit daft and I can't get it off. But basically you hold that um, collar down, that springy collar that I showed you before. And then you should be able to, as easy as that, pull the copper out. So basically what that does is when you're pushing it down, the teeth will be biting into the copper pipe like so. So when you push that colour in, it just loosens them a little bit so you can pull the teeth back over the pipe. And that is it um, for fitting that onto a piece of copper pipe. Very good fitting, like I said, if you've got water in the pipe, uh, for the, the novice as well. It's a dead easy fitting to use if you... If you I know I've been on about limited for space, but for example, you lift up the floorboard, you know you can get that fitting in there, but for speed you can get that fitting in there in an emergency. So, so if you did have quite a lot of water left in the pipe, I have done it many times where I have, you know, I don't recommend it, but sometimes you've got to, needs most, you've had to snatch it, cut the pipe, get that fitting in uh, nice and quickly, perfect for that situation. So I will take this off here, and I'm gonna show you how you would fit it on a piece of John Guest pipe. The other, so a plastic fitting like this you can use on copper pipe as well. Now you can use it on a uh, plastic pipe, but as a disclaimer, what they say is John Guest, this can only be used with John Guest pipe. So basically if you fitted that pipe onto a HEP pipe, HEP 2O pipe, and it leaked, basically that fitting wouldn't uh, be under any sort of warranty whatsoever. So uh, if you're using that, recommend you, you only use it on John Guest pipe, which I have here. 
So this is 15ml John Guest pipe. Um, it does have marks on the pipe. So what these marks are for is to gauge to make sure that you've pushed that uh, fitting in fully. So for example, you, um, you wanted this fitting fit in here, it's pre-marked. So this is when you would use the um, proper designed um, cutters, plastic pipe cutters for this kind of uh, pipe. Makes a nice neat cut. So we'll use them in a moment. But then what you will need if you're making this onto plastic pipe is two inserts. The other thing as well you've got to make sure is if the inserts are correct for the pipe, which these are. Uh, these are gone John Guest 15mm inserts to push into John Guest 15mm double barrier uh, plastic pipe. So then you would I'm just gonna make this. So we're wanting the fitting fitted there. Get that mark up to there, cut it, squeeze it together, so you will waddle it a bit a little bit. There we go. And then you can make a lovely cut there and as you can see the reason why it's called the barrier pipe it has like two layers of pipe this is to stop the ingress of air getting through the pipe as well as strength I think um, but this is double barrier pipe so what we need to do now is get this insert push inside of that pipe there so we need to push it all the way up to the rim of the insert there so you're still going to have this section showing out on the plastic part which is perfectly fine so it does have a plastic o-ring on it as well to make a seal when you're pushing it inside the actual valve itself these can be a bit tricky to get in sometimes twist them that one's gone in there i know this is only a test rig so in a live situation i i know it will be a bit more awkward than this but i've just done it for demonstration purposes Again, put that one in, twist it, and push. And you would get the inserts all the way up to the to the plastic part there. So when we're talking about the mark that we've cut on, so we've cut that there, so when we shove this in, it will shove perfectly up to that line there, to the next line. So when you push this on it should go up to there that's how you know you've made a good fitting so again we'll do this side perfect look you can see that it's gone um, up to that line twist the collars as i showed you before and that is it guys that is your speed fit fitting um plastic pipe fitting onto plastic pipe and onto copper Hopefully um, this video has been good if you're worried about using one. Um, what else can I think about the fitting? Um, sometimes it is a bit too bulky um, to fit in tight situations so another um, a different kind of fitting might be better for the job. But these, um, don't worry, a lot of people say, oh don't, don't, don't use a plastic fitting, you need a, um, a soldered fitting. I've, I've, I find these are more reliable than a compression fitting um, any day of week. I just think they're a brilliant fitting and they've been out a while now. So they're, they're tried and tested. So again, if you've liked the video, uh, please uh, subscribe. Um, also, if you liked it that much, give us a like. So that again, that's it guys for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.